Okay, so I'm doing an LED upgrade on my 2000 C5 Corvette. And I've chosen um, C-Light S1 LEDs. And actually, I've already installed the brights. And this particular um, kit here, there was a problem with one of the, um, I think it's a 9006, which is the low beam. And they sent me a new set over here. They're the S1 series. And these are actually the, um, the high beams that I took out of there, 9005. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and install the 9006. I still have the original, um, I guess they're halogen beams in there for the, the low beams. And there's a couple of things you have to do first. And I've got the hood open here. And this is the, um, the manual actuator that you can use to raise the headlight buckets. And I've done that already. And for the low beams, um, you're going to need a, a load resistor. And I already have that installed down here. And it's a little bit of a weird installation. Um, I suppose you could, you know, drill some holes or something. Um, I chose to mount this up on the... Um, the bracket for the actuator that's attached to the um, the subframe and that seems to be the best place for me to keep this thing out of the way now um, in order to do this you have to remove this bezel around the light and there's one screw on that side and there's actually two screws on this side, one here and then one um, kind of in between the, the hood and the bracket. You can't. Okay, I've got the three screws out of the bezel. And it could be a little bit of a puzzle to get it out. But um, basically, I think there's like a clip up on top or something. right up here and you just pull it forward and no big deal okay next thing is I'm going to go for my low beam which is over here and I'm going to turn that this way here so connector is actually right on the the end of the the light so I think if you lift sorry about the picture and try to do this with one hand here um, these two tabs have to be lifted and that should come right out so let me do that okay I said that the load resistor has to be connected in series, which it does. So here's the LED light. You will connect one side of the load resistor to this connector and then the other side to the original connector inside the vehicle that would have uh, connected to the original light. So I know this picture is not the greatest. Here's the pigtail for the load resistor. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And then the original pigtail for the light is right here. 
we'll see if we can get this connected in a way. Now this is a little tricky because um, you do have to kind of tuck this wiring down out of the way. So when the when the headlight bucket goes up and down, that it's not going to snag. But I've got both sides connected essentially, and you're going to want to route this in a way that um, it's going to be able to open and close properly. And I've got the back of the hole here and just give it about a, not even a quarter of a turn and it pops into place. Okay, so we're turning back that direction to put it in. In order to take it out, I moved it in that direction. So all I have to do now is put my bezel back in there and we'll put it in the same way it came out. Push it down. And then there's uh, like a slot or something that the top catches in. And basically three screws again. One there, one back here, and one over on this side. And as you can see, the light dropped down, so I'm going to have to use that actuator again to lift this. Because I still have to get my third screw in there and tighten all of this down and then it should be good to go. You probably want to double check to make sure uh, none of the wiring is hanging up in there but I believe I've got it tucked down in there well enough so I'm not going to have any issues. And if I do I'll just stick the the stock lights back in there. So anyway, that's it. Looks like those bad boys are glowing pretty good. Just check my brights real quick. See that the, the center ones illuminate and the outer ones um, appear to shut off when the brights are on. Go back and the outside ones are on. Alright, so everything seems to be working fine, so we will give that a go. Hopefully I don't get any more burned out defective lights. Okay, that's all.